how to add burnt slider to Shopify store. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add a burnt slider to your Shopify store. It is very easy and simple to do. We are going to need to add some codes, a little bit of coding to our theme and we will be good to go. Uh, all you have to do is to follow the video from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now. I am on my Shopify store, as you can see, these are my statistics. Uh, I am going directly to click on uh, first online store. Then I am going to click on the three dots on the store that I am, I am currently uh, working on. Click on the three dots, edit code, then it will show up this page. Under the template section, here is the code of the uh, theme. I'm going to add a new template or I'm not going to add a template, but I'm going to add a section. Let's go ahead and add a section here under the section. These are some liquid forms, HTML codes. I'm going to add a new section right here. I will leave it on liquid. Then I will name the section, for example, logo slider like this logo slider. Then I will click on done here. It will be creating our section. I'm going to select all this code. Then I will delete it. Now we have a uh, code that we have on this website. I'm going to leave the code uh, down on the description. I'm going to copy this because we are going to use the HTML. I'm going to copy it. Then I simply go and paste it right here. Now, after we have set up the code, we are going to the online store and then the online store, we are going to find themes here on themes. I am going to click customize simply customize and the web editor will open up here. As you can see, this is the web that, or the website that we have created. It is very simple. Now under the uh, homepage right here on the left, left sidebar. I'm going to click on add section here on the sections. I will search for the logo slider or brand slider. As you can see here, this is the last one brand logo. I'm going to click on it and it will be added right here. We have the, uh, the brand logo. Now, as you can see, we have this blank space. Under the brand logo, we have add single brand logo. We can go ahead and click on this and then it will be adding the images. I am going to add four images like this. And here we go. This is the brand logo. Now we have this one. I'm going to click on this, then select the file. When you click on the file, I'm going to add some images. Let's go ahead and add the images. I have some brand images uh, which are uh, without background. As you can see here, I have this one. It is uploading. I will wait for it, then click on done. This is the first one. Now I'm going to the second one. I'm going to add a brand logo right here. Let's go ahead and choose another logo. And here we go. This is the second one. I'm going to click on done and let's see the result. We have here the result. Let's go ahead and add this to the third slider. I'm going to click on here and see what will we have. Now let's go ahead and add this. And finally the fourth image, which will be very easy to do. Here, this is the correct method to add these brand logos. Here we have the fourth one, which has no image. Click on add images again. I will search for the other image or the other logo that I have. Let's go ahead and search for, for it. Give me a second and let's, let's try this. This is this logo. I like it or this brand. I like it. This is a, a clothing brand and here we go. This is a vertical uh, slideshow. As you can see, this is a vertical one. 
if you want to add a horizontal one, we are going to use a help of a website. It is a website called Ninja Common Logo Slider. You can see here we have a widget from Ninja or Common Ninja. Here you can see Logo Slider for Shopify. Here we have this. This is the demonstration. Here are some users. They will give you access to uh, create one only one project. I will not going to create this only one project for free. I'm going to click on create a logo showcase. Here it will open up the live editor and as you can see here we have some uh, some logos that are uh, sliding right, right now. I'm going to modify the items. Here we have the logos. I'm going to upload the files. I will do uh, the same thing that I have done on my Shopify store. I will add manually the logos. You have to download these logos uh, without a background. So it will be uh, transparent. I'm going to use this media, for example. This is for the first one. The second one, I also I'm going to add or upload a new file. I'm going to upload the bulk of the files and like this 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 and here i'm going to open these you cannot okay i will open only uh two or three files let's go ahead and add each one uh individually i'm going to add another one let's say that we have this now I'm going to add another file so I will not each time that I come here and upload re-upload everything Google Pay here I am going to add another logo let's go ahead and add uh, the PayPal and also the Amazon why not uh, this is a demonstration the Samsung logo maybe Let's go ahead and add the, this is the logo that I have created. I'm going to put this logo and here we are going to use different ones. Here for the second one, I'm going to use the Nike. The third item, I'm going to choose PayPal. For the fourth item, I'm going to choose Superdry, this one. And here on the fifth one, I'm going to use my logo. Here we go. This is the uh, slider that we are uh, or, uh, going to create here. Meet our partners. You can go ahead and change this text. You can also look and customize the appearances here. We have some settings, uh, remove logo. It will appear the logo of the website. If it did, if it is not bothering you, we can go ahead and put it. If it is bothering you, uh, you can go ahead and go for the upgraded plans here i'm going to click on save set a name for your project i'm going to put a new name for the project i'm going to put logo one save changes it is creating the project and we will receive uh, the code as you can see here i'm going to get the code this is the standard code and i am going to put this now to be able to add this code to your website all you have to do is to go to Shopify here we are on the home then I will install the common ninja app common common ninja app ninja like this and I will search for it in the app store and here we have the common ninja all in one one suit here i'm going to click on install the app quickly it will be installed and we can add the slider here it will be uh, demanding the permission to be installed i will grant it and we will see the uh, widget or the integration right here i'm going to simply uh, pin it to the menu and Finally, I can add the code or add the widget that we have created. We have a widget ID, as you can see here. We can search for it, for example. Here we have the widgets. Now we are on the Shopify section of Common Ninja. Here it will be shown up right here. 
and you click here you can go ahead and create a widget now to properly install common ninja on your website you have to click on how to install and here as you can see this is the first thing enable the uh, embed gs on shopify and to embed this gs you are going right here on the online store then then you click on themes i'm going to click on customize then the third one here this is the third choice apps embed and you will see common ninja here disabled i am going to enable it or make it enabled make click on save then i will exit the theme then i will go ahead to the app again after you have installed uh, ninja common or common ninja on your store I'm going to uh, the themes and after also uh, have embedded the app, click on customize. Here we have this. I'm going to add a block and I'm going to select or I'm going to add, for example, a section on the template right here. Then I will add the app that we have. This is the app. Now we have the Ninja app. Then we have here the widget ID. All I have to do is to copy this widget ID. Go ahead right here, paste it, and we will see the magic. As you can see, it will appear right now. Where is it? It didn't appear yet. And here, the problem was here. Click on visible and you will see here the uh, slider of the logos and we are good that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon on the next one